You don't want to be talking to them boys with some, you know. Mm. And then here's some floss, just. So honey, no. Why does my boyfriend always interrupt my videos? Yes, babe. Sorry. Next question. Sure. Hey, you guys. What's up? Some Pistachio 404 here, and I'm back with a new video for you guys. And this is a back to school video, which I'm super excited about. But before we get into it, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit that little red button down below. Also, hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you guys can be notified when I upload a brand new video like this one. Don't forget to thumbs up and all social media will be down below in the description. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so this video is going to be a back to school video and it's kind of like a survival kit, like kind of like what you should, as a woman or as a young lady, what things you should keep in your book bag or in your locker or in like a little pouch thing. Um, a little emergency kit if you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I would keep in my emergency kit or what I do keep like in my bag like at work. I'm not in school anymore. Like I don't go. I'm in school. But I don't like go to school physically like in high school and all that. But um, yeah, this is stuff that I would keep in my bag if I were in high school. And these are stuff that I keep in my bag now or like in my car and things like that. So, well, in my purse. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I would keep in my bag is gum. I used to have gum all the time though in like middle school and high school. Shoot, that was the ish. So you want to keep gum, you know, to freshen up or just to have something to chew on. You know, gum's a nice thing to have like in your purse and stuff like that. And like, I have two because I have like a huge pack. So I just take out some and you know, so people don't be asking for your gum all the time. You don't be wanting to share like, you know, all the time next thing is hair ties probably have more than one i always lose mine and usually if i have twists or braids or anything i just tie up my hair but it's also good to have a hair tie handy to put up your hair to get out of your face while you're doing your schoolwork or to tie up your shirt if it gets hot you know you're walking home at home walking home not like at school don't be showing your belly and you're not supposed to so yeah a hair tie is always good uh, another thing hold on guys i gotta get down in my back a uh, to tied to go like I'm I always drop stuff on my clothes and I just recently bought this like well not recently like about a month or two ago and this thing is amazing like you just push oops. so smart Sasha why would you why would you do it on your hand I'm so smart but anyways you just push down and then rub and it should get out all the stains it gets it out pretty well some stains are harder than others but you know it's kind of gimmicky, but it kind of works, you know. But it's it's nice to have in case you, you know, at lunch and you drop some stuff on your clothes, you know what I mean? Or like you're in cooking class, anything like that. So a tied to go stick is awesome to have. Body spray. I mean, this is like a no brainer. I, I mean, I would think you would carry body spray, but some people maybe not. But a little mini body spray. This is from Bath and Body Works. This is the fresh French lavender and honey. It smells really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I smell French lavender-y. But yeah, just keeping a spray to freshen up after gym class or if it's hot outside and you know your class, your like school is prominently outside and you get hot and sticky, you know, you could just freshen up a little bit to go with that. You know, you want a deodorant, preferably a small deodorant. I don't really have a small deodorant. I have like a deodorant that's like this big but I can't find it so pack a deodorant you know after gym especially you know you get to like wipe off and things like that put some deodorant on girl you don't be walking out smelling like mm, mm, or boy mm, you do not want to next thing I would keep in your bag or in your emergency kit is a lip balm lip balm is just it's just so important you don't want to be walking around with dry lips and it's really uncomfortable and then you're licking your lips and you're making it worse so just 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 get one a lip balmy anything works carmax lip balm other stuff you know just just yeah get get one of these <clears throat> next thing is tampons or pads of course you want to do this especially if you're a girl and you get your monthly you want to have pads and or tampon somewhere your book bag your emergency kit somewhere your locker somewhere because you, if you're not especially if you're not keeping track of it and even if you're keeping track of it sometimes it just comes on a day early or a day late and you want to be prepared so tampons is the you know lotion you also want to keep lotion 
my little small ones in my car, but it's by, it's from Bath and Body Works. You guys know the little hand lotions. Keep your hands dry, or if you know you get a little ashy on your knees, you got you got yourself because you got you got your hand lotion, and you could just use it anywhere, not just on your hands, obviously. Next thing is a hand sani. This is Honolulu Sun. This is from Bath and Body Works. No, I'm not sponsored by Bath and Body Works. I just like shopping there as do everybody but yeah this is just a little hand sanitizer and you can keep it to you know keep them germs away always good to have next thing is painkillers a leave you know you get a headache while doing that strenuous math homework or classwork you know you can pop an advil or if it's that time of the month or a leave advil or a leave whichever one you prefer um i like the leave but yeah it's always good to have painkillers but um yeah the last thing i had in here was band-aids and floss floss in case something gets stuck in your teeth you know while you're eating you don't you don't want to be stuck with it and it's really annoying trying to get it out with like your nail well to me or a piece of paper and it's kind of not that safe so you know some have some floss in there it's nice this is like i got this in a little emergency kit i got from style hall's party and then a band-aid of course in case you hurt yourself get a little scratch and also like you know if you got the new shoes and they hurt you put a little band-aid back there and it'll you know it'll help you right out i got you i got i got the i got you but yeah that's everything that i have in that bag thank you guys so so much for watching did i miss anything can you guys let me know if you have anything in your emergency kit that i don't have in mine leave it in the comment down below that might help somebody else somebody can read it and put that in there if they wish or not you know we could just you know give each other advice so leave it down in the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button go ahead and thumbs up and all social media will be down below thank you guys so so much for watching love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video deuces